Hey, good morning, Facebook. It's your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America. I got a reaction uh, to the uh, coronavirus. It's Saturday morning, uh, March 7th. Pretty early. I'm trying to get my heart rate up, you know, because they say if you can raise that heart rate on a daily basis, you know, it could be pretty good for you down the road. Even if, even if it's just a brisk walk, you know, or a jog or a walk in between, you know, and they also say if you take care of your body in the beginning, it'll take care of you on the back end. God willing. Man, the coronavirus. If you ever read the book of Revelation, read it again. And if you haven't, I'm talking to the spiritual people. Not religious people, spiritual because religion causes division. I'm gonna say that again. Religion causes division. So I'm basically speaking from a spiritual perspective <laughs> because it's crazy how the word of God, the Bible is so relevant in today's time. If you look at it from a figurative perspective, not a literal perspective, because if it was literal, then those miracles cannot be reproduced. But since they, you know, the Bible is a living, is a living word of God, you know, it, it can be translated. Yeah, I'm trying to not show the sign, you don't know where I'm at. <laughs> it can be translated in today's time. Because the coronavirus is, is disease and famine. And in the book of Revelation, they speak on, the book speaks on, um, the seals being released and the first were the horses and the horses represented you know i would say the people or represents metaphorically the mindset because the first horse was released and it was the white horse and basically it went on to be victorious in battle and a lot of people say you know the debate from theologians they say that it's uh Jesus is riding a horse and to back that fact up is, you know, he's omnipresent. But from a metaphorical perspective and from a mental perspective, that white horse is us because we could decide on a daily basis if we want to be victorious and if we want to win our daily struggles and our daily battles. When I say our daily struggles and our daily battle battles, we have to make a decision. Are we going to be light? Instead of darkness, are we going to be love, patience, kindness, peaceful? Or are we going to be, you know, utilize these things from an adversarial perspective? Because the next horse that was released was the red horse. And it was designed to destroy peace. It was designed to destroy peace. And if you look at the world and what's going on, there's not global peace. Now, we're, we have peace here in America, but there is not global peace. And if you look at it realistically, you got to really be honest because that red horse could actually be us as well. You could wake up this morning, you know, not feeling too well or have an attitude. You could call somebody and destroy their peace before they even wake up this morning. You could call somebody right now. They answer the phone and you can start gossiping. You can start telling them negative stuff. You could just tell them that they man didn't come home last night. You can, you have the power to do that. And in those biblical scriptures, we actually make the choice to do that. So the white horse in the book of Revelation, champion, winning battles, peaceful, love, kindness, White, white represents purity in terms of the horse. The red horse, death and destruction, destroy peace. And then the pale horse, no, then the black horse is the economic perspective because it says, raise all the prices on everything, but don't touch that oil and that wine. And it says olive oil, but at that time, olive oil was something special, just like crude oil is today. So if you transfer that information to the, today's time, then that olive oil could be translated into crude oil. And then the 
economic aspect could be the inflation on how you know people may be being priced out of their living situation or they might just not have enough to make it but raise the prices the pill whores death disease destruction and look where we at today we got the corona virus and to black folk i'm gonna be honest with you coronavirus is pretty much a common cold okay because our dna and our melanin and things that sent us you know we've been here before existence of all of this and we'll be here after so when they start putting the propaganda out if they do in terms of black deaths then you know we're gonna have to come back and re visit this situation you know but as of now pretty much a common cold and if you look at china as a whole you know china has a history of killing its elderly to move them out the way so they can actually move on and change rules and change laws and have a better situation when it comes to their particular future so just imagine if america especially black america could get rid of the gatekeepers and the baby boomers and the elderly that's still running american politics to this day because they want to stay in control and they don't want things to truly change and that's just keeping it 100 with you but this coronavirus man i got a funny story then i'm about to finish my little workout you know get my jog on i had a uh i drive lift okay and i'm probably one of the best that ever did it seriously because if i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it the right way so that's how i've been eating i got other stuff going on you know you guys will see down the road but one of my revenue streams is driving lip and i was in the la area and i pulled up and a asian lady came out with a mask you know and i just finished watching the news or listening to kfi about this coronavirus and i looked at it, i said oh no 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 oh i'm gonna cancel right i you know, I, you know, some my, something not feeling right about this. She had a mask on, and she said, "No, no, no, no Corona. I work at nail shop." I said, "Look, either you're gonna take that mask off <laughs> and find another ride, because I could care less if you work at a nail shop. Because right now, people that look like you dying with a disease called Corona." And just to close this out, to uh, be honest, the cruise line the cruise line market is a large portion of the global economy so that's being affected so we're going to stay on this and we shall get through this but the bible has the prophecies of that bible basically depicted and have on record I've got some little sheriff action right here got some little action and preserved some action to actually keep things in perspective because what it says that will be done got some police action going on you got a blacked out little van they got the sheriff's department behind them can't see it right now though but it's all good but uh that will be done so black people and i'm talking specifically to black people you know the brand is a better black america okay so this is our opportunity to get our minds together collectively and understand because we have to look and see that these are signs. You know, these are biblical signs for us to become more spiritual and understand that we got to be on one sheet of music. You know, because in the book of Exodus with Moses, you know, he had to go to Pharaoh, let my people go. So we're actually in that same exact time that we're living in right now. And if we don't move on, and if we fall for the okie doke and get hoodwinked and bamboozled again, then we're going to be guilty by association. Because if you look at the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party has a strong hold on black America, and it's by design. And like I said, I'm working on a piece with the uh, Willie Lynch letter, and it talks about, you know, what they did to preserve their power and it's relevant in today's time. It's gonna blow your mind. So that's the next video I'm, be, I'm going to be uploading on YouTube within days. So 
the coronavirus, the common cold for black folk, created by China to kill its elderly. And if you look at the the, the news or if you look at the the information that's being out, uh, put out, a large volume of the deaths are elderly and older people. I don't think they have a death under 50 at this time, but most of the deaths are pre-existing conditions and old, you know. But as black folk, man, this is our opportunity, man. And I was just wanting to chime in, but poor Bloomberg, you know, black men, we missed it. You know, he was talking about growing black wealth, investing $50 million into black businesses. As soon as he started talking about black folk, Booty Bud, and what's the other one? Uh, the other female that was running, they said, you know what, let's go ahead and before the Super Tuesday, let's go ahead and shut this, uh, shut it down and uh, support uh, Joe Biden because we can't let these niggas get ahead. And that's keeping it 100 with you, so. We can and we will, so stand by, God is good. And I think we are gonna be all right, because all things have purpose. We just gotta understand what this purpose is and not be you know, afraid and fearful because God didn't create the spirit of fear, but it should be motivating and encouraging us to get our act together. Not one person, but as a collective group. Because if, if, my, if my man ain't eating good, I ain't eating good. That's just how I go, because I am my brother's keeper. And I love my race, I love my culture, and we gotta make sure that Generation X stands up and stop these culture vultures and we need to close the chapter out on race ourselves, man. So wash your hands, be careful. We shall get through this. We can and we will. With that being said, man, this is Bouchon Glover on a Saturday morning, March 7th, 2020. With that being said, man, peace, have a good day. Make sure when you get an opportunity, man, go to uh, A Better Black America TV on YouTube, subscribe because uh, the revolution will be televised. The revolution will be televised. Peace out.